Earth Spirit from doing things, and it's going to stop Rubik from doing things. But most of the time, the Doom's going to still be active enough. Like, he's probably gone on you, so he's already got the Scorched Earth active. He might even be able to get a Doom off before the Global comes out, and it might actually force Topson to go into an earlier BKB than previously as well. Feels pretty value this game. So we'll see. We'll see what's uh, what they're able to do this time around. But, oh. Vincento, they both know that that smoke was popped, so they're going to back off in time. Uh, I need to see them actually group up a lot more to be able to play around this big pushing potential that they've got. Okay. Is there any ore items or early items that we could see come out from Ivy to kind of help that group up and take objectives? Who's buying it, though? That's the question. Like, DK kind of needs to play for himself. Lashrak needs to play for himself. TB needs to play for himself, and... I've already emphasized the importance of the uh, the four staffs on the Ivy support, so I'm not sure if they can. Okay. They do have that cliff ward that's going to see Addy venturing up pretty aggressively into OG's territory, so it doesn't look like they have everyone nearby to maybe to combat this on OG, so it might just be a split in regards to the bounties. They are set up for both of the bounties down bottom for OG, so going to be a two for two, nothing too crazy. Mm-hmm. Dude, they placed the <laughs> these goddamn sprays on cliffs and all that. The Pretty sure no one other. just gave away that cliff ward. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe the smoke popping was the one that did it. But uh, he threw up the the high five when they didn't actually. Well, I shouldn't have had vision of him, and I think they got a quick glimpse of it. So they were like, "Hey, yeah, there's probably a reason." Hey, that they what's know going on? Kind of bad. What's up? What's going on here? All right, so. The real big shining light for Ivy in game one was Stoikov. Mm -hmm. Is this... Now that we get to see all of our OG and how the lanes are set up and everything that are running, they're going to be running at Stoikov, do we feel like he has a bit better of a time? Is he enabled for success or not? I mean, I still think even just on his own, he did a decent enough job. He just needs teammates to be able to play around with. So it's a question of, are your teammates going to be dying back to back in lane are they going to get picked off solo consistently so I, I think it's just going to be on the back of that as opposed to anything that he's going to be able to do so that's really what i'm looking to for them to change up you know how can he maybe make some i mean you know that topson's going to get more active than you right like he's going to be the one making the reactions a lot of the time so how can you look to read that and be able to respond effectively to it that's part of the reason why there's this observer ward right outside the road Seb, Seb. All right, in a little bit deep. Very interesting that he's also got Orb of Venom into a Terror Blade lane, where you're, yeah. of course, able to get the reflection. So, yeah. actually, that's um, something that people might look to avoid. But, see, I mean, reflection's got a bit of a cooldown, 25 seconds, but already first blood's given over. Who got it? Uh, what's Vincenta? Once again, back-to-back -back games, the position 5 on Ivy is going to get first blood. Does Seb have anything coming out to him on his career? He should be sending out a... Rezo? Alright, Rezo's okay. going to go down as well. Great nice start, start for... That it is, Ivy. Two kills early on, get first conversion out of the metamorphosis as well. Meanwhile... Does look like Addy's going to go down top lane, though, so Kid Track and No One going to be able to even that up. That's a very early level in the Infernal Blade for No One, so even just that 1% damage is enough to help out. Mm -hmm. Especially against a DK. You want to be able to have that against the strength Replay! hero. What? Oh. Yeah, we got a re... Come on, Seb dying, giving her <laughs> first blood is warranted a replay. That is a... The most high first blood I've ever seen in my life. Addy is getting gone on again in this top lane, and some body block coming out from no one with that increased movement speed from the Scorched Earth. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, Kid track has got that second point in the fade bolt now to eventually work with, so even more burst potential, but importantly, Addy is going to have to make the, the run to shame. top and yeah, walk a Shane, and the, let's see if they give him a smoke to do it. Oh, they're not even going to give him a smoke. That's you know that's what you did. when you know. Yeah, that's when you know they're like, come on, man. You had a rough last game, and now you're dying twice as well. You think we're going to smoke you? A little bit. Never mind. Going to be able to back off. Seb just trying to get that harassment going. Of course, he has that orb of venom. We saw that that was the cause of his uh, early first kill, but now at least he's able to get a little bit of harassment in onto Vincenzo. Vincenzo. Vincento. Too much CDPC. 
Is he going to tick out? Zani needs some right clicks. But the Brutus should be able to close the distance. So this bottom lane. All right. The Terror Blade last pick for them is off to a great start here. Yeah. It's all just about using OG strengths against them, right? You already talked about it with the Orb of Venom on the, uh, the Monkey King. And I feel like specifically against OG, Terror Blade and Undying are two of the heroes that you need to be prioritizing just because of their potential to turn around a full five-man engagement onto the enemy. Oh, Addy, not again. You should be gonna say. <laughs> I didn't know if the, uh, the tower was going to be enough of a deterrent for no one. He's been playing very aggressive on this Doom so far. I want to take a look at mid real quick because all the action we've been oh, getting no. in the side lanes, which, yeah, might not stop in Sento. It's going to go down. Jump on forward from 7 Resolution. Fairy Fire activated, but the bonus health is not enough to keep him alive. Resolution's going to take a little bit of damage with that second use of the Metamorphosis, but get the core. Okay, there we go. Well, that's a bit of a core. You get the full Wraith Bin and the uh, OBS as well, so mm -hmm. about Snipe. What's happening in mid? I like the fact that Stoikov has put an extra point into the Edict compared to last game, just because, again, you know Topson is going to make this rotation. I think he's going to wait for this urn to be delivered through to him before he looks to try and do that, but... Uh, it's about what you can do when he's missing. I don't think you want to respond to this. I think you want to try and take advantage of the fact that this is an, uh, an Earth Spirit that's no. making rotations away is oh, another courier. Look at that courier. Yeah. Yeah, but it's... Oh, there was just so much on it. Mm-hmm. And Zani, so Zani's got no region now because Vincenta bought out to help the Terror Blade. So now they can look to play the, the trade game for, for OG down bottom, knowing that there's no sustain for them. Oh. Plus side, Stoikov's doing well, once again. I yes. mean, you got a slight lead against the Earth... Uh, God damn it. Earth Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> uh... It's going to feel nice, but it's it's pretty standard to be in this sort of situation. You've even got a little bit of assistance coming through from the TB illusions, from the supports as well. It's going to be Q-Bubble towards the top side that has to be able to claim it for himself. So at least you've got that going your way. And well, Seb's actually looked to converge on this mid lane a little bit, but I don't think they should be in a position to get a kill. Maybe they will. They got the six on Topson. Seb's going to look to try and pounce on forward and... Topson doing a really good job to play his distance. Not heavily committing into the middle of the team fight. Even Resolution is going to try and tip in as well to provide that helping hand. And Seb's one in a bit of a wave, bit of a high five. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to find it. But OG, great rotation out of them early on. And a perfect timing as well for Seb to connect. As soon as Topson had that level six to work with, Seb was there to be able to capitalize. And we know no one's so comfortable staying solo on this top lane. He's got a two level advantage over Addy. He's doubled his net worth at this point, only seven minutes in. And he's almost more than half the way towards that Midas. Even just denying him in his face with all of that right click damage that he's playing off. He's dooms him as well. It's oh, the Topson. mana burn. Oh, bottom lane as well with a dive under the tower. Incento's going to go down and Topson might even look over to Zani. He's got the kickback. It's still on cooldown. So Seven Resolution going to struggle about keeping up with Zani. And Topson wants to stick around. Topson. They got the vision to be able to play with. No level Should six yet. No thunder. Thanks to the vision. Five and a half. Very close to being able to work out with the ultimate. But unfortunately, he's still just a little bit too far away. He's trying That's to cut through the trees, but Resolution... We'll stop him short with that escape avenue. Beautifully done with the Sprout. And he's got the Wrath of Nature as well, just in case Cube thinks about stepping a little bit too far forward. Even just keeps those lanes a little bit more pushed away from the towers as well, right? Like you leave a long time uh, away from the lane and you can look to play off of that. Bottom towers being pushed into the entire time. Rezo, of course, with that Blightstone is going to assist with that with the Treants and then mid lane. Kitrak was there to soak up a little bit of it, but just makes the Rubik's life a little bit easier as well. So you're not even losing anything in exchange for that full on commitment to multiple kills on the bottom side of the map. I think she's going back down. Why not? You they spy out Cube. Here. They spy they... out Vincenzo. Yep, and they spy out Zani as well. Still That's no a juicy kill. No Sunder. Who cares about Seb going down? Cube's able to get a solo kill, really. All eyes on Zani to Kindu to slow down this position. One Terror Blade and meanwhile Kitrak. He's even completely left no one, and he's able to do so because of no one having a great start on the Doom. So Kitrak is already level six on the Rubik. My oh my. It's a 4,000 with lead. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Yeah. 
minus as well completed for no one so he's going to continue to extend this i mean i was really expecting ivy to get a little bit more tower pressure off the back of this i think uh, Stoikov has been forced down bottom just because of how well they've been able to play past this laning stage. Ooh. Cube able to get another solo kill in onto the lane, though. multiple. And he's probably going to go down again, although. Oh, he's so slow. He can't use the Dragon Tail just because he's out of range and he doesn't have level 6 yet. Dyer are coming. Kick Joke's going to try and put his body on the front line. Nice, nice kick. kick away, but it's not enough. So it's still able to get the kill. Now Stoikov. Pump fake out of the split earth. No one has the doom back up to work with. Stoikov's actually going to continue to run to the lane instead, but the arrow clips onto no one, but importantly, Resolution is able to come through with a finishing blow. And now what's going to stop Thompson? A kick away, but Cube he's still got leap charges to work with. So, I mean, Rezo is here, and you might just look to get some damage into the tower, or they might want more kills instead. He's spying up Vincento. He might run straight to no one. Seb has just been keeping them completely uh, occupied for the past, like, 30 seconds. You know, even under an Observer ooh, Ward. Ooh. <laughs> just ate the arrow. Okay, he's all right. Tactical. Sure. Hit drag. The D -ward. What do you do, man? Like, you, you, you've lost your bottom tower. You're soon going to lose your mid tower. Zani's farming they underneath see the Zani. ward. Yep. Yeah. And you're now going to kill Vincento as well. He's just hoping for deny on the Ancients and won't find her. So this map is going to shrink. They're, gonna they're about to lose all their tier 1 towers in a couple of minutes. And like you said, they're going to dive out of There's just nowhere for the Dragonite to be. Hit tracks up. But to get a glimpse of the Dragonite looking to try and duck his way through the tree line. As soon as they see him, they're going to balance even Resolution trying to TP in as well. I mean, well, Seb, he's scouting out some of the other people as well. So it's like you've got wards, you've got the Monkey King even scouting you out. It's just they're going to have Kitrak, no map the to play with twice. very shortly. Do it, Kit Track. It's got 28 health. Hit the tower. Wait, where, oh. what tower are you speaking? Oh, the mid one. Okay. Yeah. What, what tower are you speaking about? It's low as hell. <laughs> yeah. Well, they won't have any tier one towers to be able to play around with soon. And I believe now Thompson's actually got the completed Spirit Vessel. So previously his Vitality Booster went away, was killed on the Courier, but a lot more stats for him to be able to play around with, and we know how aggressive he can get without much. And, well, now you're not even that worried about uh, a Bloodstone if uh, Stoikov's able to go into it. You're not worried Ooh. about the DK at all. Not that you were previously. How many times he's been dying. There's odds from our partner esports bet that I don't look too good for Ivy. A little generous for Ivy. <laughs> generous. It's <laughs> one way to put it. Top lane, top some of the vessel completed. This is not being a series that Addy would hope to remember. I are just going to force people to come back top. I mean, uh, Rezo's going to still use the trains just to be able to pick up a lot of farm, not wanting to feed them away for free. And so they're cool. going to kick him back inside. Topson They've already used it. It was a nice kick before. Topson. One more we Vessel charge available. Ooh. The silence is going to make it a bit more of an issue. Vessel, is it going to tick out? <laughs> Slither of hell, he'll tick out. Now I'm Topson. Rolls away as well in style. May as well surf as all towards an arcane rune. He's just going to go back in. Why stop? Don't. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> but who's going to cut down the tree? Uh, Rezo is ready. They just. What can they do to stop Thompson? He's up in their face. Deep next to the T2 tower. There's just nothing they can do. Thompson is having free roam of the map. Ooh, maybe he plays the arcane, though. Ooh. Yeah. And and right. again. I was thinking maybe you get a breathe fire from afar, but Addy just doesn't feel safe enough to be able to go anywhere far away from his tier two tower. I mean, they haven't killed him when he was right next to it previously, and he's gone full in on this blink dagger. They just want to try and start a fight for a change. They'll be able to pick off Sep, so little things going their way. He's able to touch out a lot of that damage going back the other way, as you would expect from the Grandmaster MK, but uh, well, not going to be enough. So at least you stop a little bit oh, of that aggression Zani. for now. I say that, but they're going to go in onto Zani, like oh. you said. Great roll. Wrath of Nature as well. A pretty good global silence, so will enable Zani to get the Sunder into the teleport out. And now Ivy starting to bring some numbers over to potentially turn it. So the, the kill onto the Rubik, but 
That's a global silence used in the end. Yes, it keeps the Terror Blade alive, but now what's going to stop OG for the next two minutes? That's one of those times where I'm like, Thompson could have just got one point in the grip, you know? Just for that two-second silence duration, maybe you stop the uh, the Sunder from coming off and you're able to pick off Zadi instead. It's a kill going back the other way. Sure, you use the global silence for it, but you can't let this TB start to pick up some of that farm that he didn't yes. get in lane. Oh, mid lane arrow connects. Stoikov is in a pretty good position to be able to capitalize on that initial stun. So Thompson's going to go down. Bit of a streak given over to Stoikov, and he's able to get the power rune as well, being the region. So Bloodstone's coming out to him too. Okay, okay. What's the vision like at the moment from OG? Do they see any of this? They just dewatered inside of the Ancients' camp. So Stoikov is going to be able to clear this one out, and then maybe they can look to pl uh, look to make a play up towards top side. They have taken tier one tower off the back of Stoikov, but they got to keep it going. Seb though is doing a good job just to clear out this wave. Just the one point in the Jingu was enough for the laning stage. Right now, it's just preventing them from hitting into your own towers. Big roll coming through from Topson. Full silencer. It's gonna try and run to Stoikov. Can they still look to turn this back around? Doom's gonna be activated from no one. Looking to target down the less track. Got the blocks so get off. some of the spells out, but a great sprout from Resolution will stop the escape. Another turn to Addy as well. In the end, OG, a beautiful fight from them. They're going to be able to continue to put some pace onto the map and making sure that Ivy have no breathing room. And that's, again, the power of fighting inside of that Wukongs, right? Like, if you want to try and run at them, then you're just going to drop the Wukongs, you're going to drop all of these other spells, and that was one of those fights. I said that TB is great against OG, but TB, because of the laning stage, just isn't able to join into that fight. He needs some of his items for himself. He needs to play selfishly. Twice now that Addy has just not been given a game. At least with this next wave, he's going to be able to finish up that Blink Dagger for himself. And then maybe they can look to make an aggressive move. But, you know, OG, they're not going to give him the time to be able to do it. Thompson, he's even going into the Midas for himself. Because why not? If you're going to be yeah. roaming around the map, making a lot of kills happen, it's a way of keeping up in net worth if not every single one of them connects. Rezo almost got the Glypnir as well. Yeah, that was actually was something I was going to bring up to, to ask you, or just statement in a way, where it seems like Topson, uh, this back-to-back -back games now where he's gone Midas on the Earth Spirit, so maybe feels like this is a, a core thing on, on mid-Earth Spirit. You go for that one like early item to help your rotations, and then maybe the Midas after help you kind of scale if you fall off. So a very interesting read. It's nice to see the individuals on what they prioritize on different heroes. Again, we saw him do it last game, right? The level 20 talent for the yeah. Geomagnetic Grip on allies, so... If someone does get caught out by uh, Dragon Tail, Arrow, Top Split lane. Earth. Speaking about the Dragon Tail, is the connection going to be there? No, the Arrow just a little bit too short. That was your Blink reveal, and no one he's going to be able to survive. So They should get the tail, looks like them. Yes. That's... Uh, they're picking out like they want to defend it. Doesn't seem like it's going to be the case, though. No I mean, way. you do have Kit Track nearby. Maybe they're looking for a kill if they try and venture aggressively into the jungle. Oh, Stoikov's currently doing that. He's already popped the Bloodstone, though. Shouldn't be in too much danger as Kit Track. He's going to back off, realizing that, you know what? I'm, I'm fairly strong. I'm, I'm level 8, but not quite strong enough to fight into this Lash. And again, Seb, it's just this roaming potential right he's going to be able to get out in time before any kind of tps go through he knows he's got three seconds to be able to make that sort of play and now that stoikov's there they can play top global science might be able to cover the retreat but the damage has already been dealt it seems like from no one so they're going to be forced to look for a deny they won't be able to get it and they Man. split away as well resolution at least able to catch up to vincento so you'll get the kill onto the silencer Let's have to commit a couple of heroes though from old G inside that little skirmish. No one... Okay, Mill, they got to commit lane. onto Stoikov in the mid lane. Five seconds on the TP through from Rezo. He wants to get in onto Ish. the tree line. Looks it's like gonna he get does. solo killed. Oh, resolution ruins the party. <laughs> Such... Dude. Again, I didn't think this voice line could get better, but through every year apparently it can. But what if it gets longer, you know, the more old G battle passes you own over the years? <laughs> Remember when they did that battle pass? Yeah, no, I, I really like that with what they did for it, with how it got longer. I'm surprised they kind of took that 
out of the game, that little story. idea. Yeah, yeah I, I, I did like that. How long was yours? Were you a, were you a Seb? Or were you a Seb? Not too long. Yeah, I was like a, you know, a good good size. Mm. A good happy medium, right? Uh-huh. Just a nice uh -huh. average. Cube. Yeah, nice average. Vincenzo. Dude, Thompson. A little bit of vision you give this guy. He's going to continue to hunt. To try and jump in on the Dragonite, but there's no one there to follow up for Addy. Stoikov's soon going to connect, but the damage has been dealt. He'll try and get onto Thompson. Might still tick out to the Edict. Thompson still is able to kick, get the kick slow. Draw is able to live, and now with the rest of OG. Starting Tops to be their attention over. Seven, zero no one. <laughs> Can he catch up to Zani? Ducks into the trees. Pretty nice route for Zani. Oh, but the kick from Thompson anticipating to step out of the right side. And now behind the T2 tower as well. Seb is still hunting Stoikov. The Under left shot can tower. just not catch a break. T2 tower for what? No one cares. OG certainly don't. There's going to be nothing to act as a deterrent. They're going to TP in, but they might just feed more lives away. The Seb, he'll turn over towards the Mirana. A global silence is out. It might be enough to keep Coop alive. He's able to leap back over to the high ground. And in the end, they do get the ages onto resolution as well. It's one hero, though, that they're able to get off the back of, like, a lot of defensive TPs. And, I mean, this is exactly what all G want, right? They want them to be playing on the back foot. They want them to be farming. They want them to be using their TPs to defend, especially when they're still losing fights off the back of this, because this is triple Midas that you're going up into. So, all G are always going to be able to get that to extend their net worth even further. Oh. So, I went a witch blade. What do you, what do you make of this? I know we were considering about TV a mage play up to... What, what, what makes it nice against a TB? It's constant damage over time, right? You don't really care about that high armor. Maybe they're feeling like they're a little lacking in their lockdown to be able to kill him before the uh, before the Sunder comes through. He is... is he, I was about to say closing in on the Manta style. He has enough to buy it now, I think, if he wants to, but seems like he's walking in to prioritize the BKB instead. Nowhere is safe, though. Seb's so just patrolling around, standing right on top of an Observer Ward, but who cares? And, well, that's an 82% win probability. Oh, I see oh, oh, the Observer Sentry combo. It's a must when you're versing the Mirana, and you know, thanks to Seb. the supports, they're going to be able to get a big kill onto Stoikov, and now they're going to turn towards the outpost as well. The Seb's in a little bit of trouble, but as soon as you say that, the backup has arrived. Cube's going to look to split away back inside OG's own triangle. No leaps. This has got TP up in a couple of seconds. Being more Zani, he's getting stalked down. Topson oh. is going to roll to be able to cancel that. So Zani, it's going to be an easy death for him. Tries Under. to find an opportunity for the sun up, but the chain control is perfect from OG. And once again, a zero casualty fight from them. Yep, Seb continued chasing. Uh, don't think we were watching that at the time. And he even just uses the mischief to dodge the first... Uh, landing of the star storm as well so survives on barely any hp again this is what happens when you give people their comfort right they're going to make these flashy sorts of plays especially if there's someone like seb he's already top as well setting up just in case addy's looking to try and shove that out look at how they're sweeping across the map they take that fight down bottom then instantly no one in kit track go over towards radiance triangle just making sure there is no room if they're here they can either connect to top where seb's already setting up or they can easily move back to mid and bottom they know where stoikov is because of the observer ward and rezo's right in resolution look at the balls on this guy He's got a BKB, he can afford to. He knows that there's no real damage coming through. Addy is having to play so passively, even off the back of this Blink Dagger, that he's not going to jump in. They've scared him enough times. Eight deaths, 22 minutes in on a DK. That doesn't happen unless you're specifically targeted. Seb has more net worth than him. Acres. How many deaths overall has he had this series? Let's not count. Maybe I shouldn't highlight that. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Addy. It's a, t it's a statistic, man. Come on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have to be brought up. Uh huh. Top side, they were looking for someone just hanging off into the tree line. Radiance top tower. That's what I like about these uh, old G players, right? They they assume that someone's going to be there, so they're already like pre-casting their next Ooh. spell. <laughs> ah, that's fine. They wouldn't have had the damage to kill him. It was so funny though. We always jumped down into it off the tree, smoking out Ivy. Oh, kind of feels like it's a last fight if it doesn't go their way. 
maybe they're just waiting for Rezo to get into A, his Witchblade, and B, just have that BKB up again so that he could be part of that first wave of initiation. They've at least got the BKB to be able to play with on Zani. But... <sighs> Is he going to be the one that really oh, utilizes yeah. it? No, I think someone else is going to get picked get up out. first almost every time. Oh, <laughs> well, I hear a dragon tail. No one's they a big no one alone. It's a lot of damage to start. No one will turn and use the doom onto the dragon knight, but he's already done what was required out of him in that engagement, so... Nice kill for Ivy. They're on the prowl for more, but OG going to respect this. Here is looking to back on up. They got a little bit lucky. The Rezo TP had just completed to the bottom side of the map as they made that jump, so there was no way for him to be able to come back in and try and save the uh, the Doom there just with the Glypnir. The did they have to pop anything aggressively? Yeah, they did. They, they even used the BKB just to make sure that there was no turnaround potential onto the Terra Blade. So it's a lot committed just for the one kill, but at least Zani's the one to get it up. He's going to be looking to work into that Scardi next. I mean, he is against uh, a ranged core in the Nature's Prophet, so it's going to give a lot of value there. Stoikov. Aggressive roll in, and Thompson was just looking to try and maybe bait the Global Silence and also potentially bait Kitch Kitchak from wandering down the stairs. Thing is, though, they're getting stuff in exchange for this, right? Rezo's yeah. continuing to push the bottom side. He's going into a Revenant's broach against the TB. You know I'm a fan. Just against that high armor, obviously going to be very effective. I wonder if that's where Seb's thinking as well. He's got he's got Radiance. Not against the TB, my guy. Guess he doesn't care. They're far enough ahead. 19k, 25 and a half minutes in. They've found out Cube, who's trying to force stuff himself here, there, and everywhere. A Scorched Earth, actually, he's not going to stick around, so Cube might be able to live off the back of this. Ooh. Oh my god, Stoikov. Alright. He locks out. <laughs> He's got to stick up here. Works. He's got to wait a little bit. Yeah, there we go. The cliff teasy cam. The cube teasy. Addy Bone Lane might oh, be in some trouble. Guy. Still doesn't have BKB. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so he bought the Mithril Hammer. So. No nice. unreliable gold. All right, silver lining. So I like these. You have some good silver linings when teams are twenty-one thousand gold behind. You How know, someone has to be positive. Okay, I'm pretty positive. No? Sure. <laughs> All right, come on, come on now. Seems like there is a little bit of server lag as well. I got DC'd, and I don't know if you got that as well, but everyone else is. Uh... No, I have a good computer. What? <laughs> Sorry, uh, they, there's just no correlation between the two. Uh-huh. That's okay, though. That's all right. Uh, We're back in. Me. Revenant's Broach <laughs> is coming up. out on Rezo as well. <laughs> he's level 20, and he's gone for the mischance as well. So, I mean, do they have any four staffs? I said they needed to prioritize it. At least Marana's got one, but... You catch that TB inside of it if he's not able to use the uh, the Quelling Blade. Maybe they're just going to look to drop the Doom onto Zani from here on out, just so that he can't Quelling Blade himself out. Sprout him. Nothing he can do. <laughs> Who would have thought that Doom would be used for a measly Quelling Blade 26 minutes in? Look, I, I, it. I get it. I understand, <laughs> but it's just... It's funny the way it's worded. Uh-huh. All right. 100 gold item. Smoke worth. Off. Yeah. All right, let's see what they can do. You got meta back up. You got BKB back up. Uh, you do have a very deep ward inside Dyer's territory by the outpost. That's going to see Rezo, but there's no way you're going to get through the formation that's set up. Kitrak playing as a, a smoke block in a way. Tops him as well inside the river. Oh, Speaking right. of, Addy jumps in front of the Earth Spirit, so he's not going to be able to connect on the roll. All right. The Topsin goes down to start, but look at the turnaround. The Terra Blade was able to pop meta and BKB, so he's going to be pretty strong throughout the duration of the Doom. Will turn to be able to kill off Seb, but Stoikov will not have the same fate. No, no, no one. He can jump on forward. They know that the Terra Blade is completely isolated. Can he get the Sunder off? Well, very, very close, but the damage was just enough before the Doom expired, so... 
all things considering, and it's a rough thing to say, probably the best fight we've seen from Ivy so far this game, and they've lost every single call. Yes, and I think if you're at this state where you know that you're a hell of a way behind, I really don't think you can afford to hold on to as much gold as they are. Like, you, you can have a look over on the net worth chart. You know, it says the Shrak's got 11,000, but he's holding on to nearly 2,500 of that. Maybe things turn out a little different if he's got the Kyra and Sanj finished. You know, maybe they pick off another target. Maybe you live a bit, little bit longer so that your Terror Blade gets away, you know? But uh, I really don't feel like the buyback is going to result in anything. You're probably just going to feed again because of how far behind you are. They're just going to continue to push on forward. Did you see how long Roche spawn was? I know it's up very shortly, but it feels it's like, like two minutes. Okay, I, I was going to say it felt like it was the longest spawn possible, but mm. up shortly. Going for a dive, Topson. And he'll connect. Doesn't need a BKB. Boy, surely man. to be able to follow up. On to Addy they go, and no one's even going to turn his attention over towards Stoikov. Oh, gee, nothing to fear. You know that everything was used prior in that engagement. Was that completely blind? I'm pretty sure that was completely uh, blind, that roll. There's no maybe? vision for old G to be able to play around with, I'm pretty sure. That's kind of nutty yes. if it was. Yeah, look, let's just say yes. Well, level 20 now on the Doom with Octarine Core. Even lower cooldown, 110 seconds. Radiance top tower is under attack. He's got Scotty now. Okay. He's gonna get Never not level 15. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't, didn't kill that Corio. I mean, yeah. it would have just revealed his position, though. He knows that they're I able to just join in onto him every time. Ah, uh, suppose. Uh, nah, Feels bad when you've got a saying. level 16 and three level 14s on the team against level 22, level 20, Seb's Ooh. level 16. <laughs> Like they're, yeah, they're having to feed Tome into Zani just so that he can get up into, I'm assuming, the health talent so that he might be able to get off that uh, that Sunder. He's been pretty yeah. good with his BKB usages so far, but... Yeah. I mean, you got to try and fight on old G's side of the map for a change. All right. Lotus on Cube as well, which, honestly, it's... Look, to say, because they're 28,000 gold behind, but they did just kind of pick up some important items, so... Smoke, on smoke. could be the last fight. They're playing around their own vision, though, on old G. Even has the bottle to be able to play around with with the uh, the illusion rune, so you can afford to go in. Oops, they're gonna... He wants to bait How out a global silence. That? Addy's still going to be able to jump. Should be able to set up for the arrow. The damage is going to come through pretty shortly as well, but Resolution dead on in the Nature's Prophet, and we see what happens as a result of that. Rezo just pummels them down. He's going to TP in aggressively as well. On to Cube they go. And now they can turn their attention over towards their terror play. But the chain control is perfect from OG, making sure there is no threat of Asunder to repair some of the damage. As OG, all they lost was Topson, and no, he bought back more than happy to use that one. Mm -hmm. If they want to, they can go into Roche, but really, what's the point? You know, just keep pushing these lanes in, force some buybacks out. Radiant Seb might even be able to force it in himself. Use the Primal Spring onto the Creep Wave, doesn't want to do it. Just wants to be able to instantly get away. The net worth is just going to continue to grow. Another Midas usage, another Devour, another Creep Wave farmed. Oh, yeah. You know it's bad when the net worth is higher than the mini mark. Mm -hmm. uh, what if, if, if anything's going to be. A... But it's if a 1% win probability. There's a chance. Oh. Gaben okay. has spoken. Okay. Thank I you, Gaben. I love that mm -hmm. green flame from Kitrak when he steals it. <laughs> Topson was quite close to destroying Seb's tree. Meanwhile, no one. What's really... What's Rezo got to fear, man? Keep in. He's got Satanic. Uh, they might dive. Come on. What is this might? Come on. It's all G. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm in, in the fountain. Nice. I don't mean none of this diving behind next to Tifa Tower. I mean, that's just measly stuff. Mm -hmm. Where are the tips? <laughs> they got hit by the arrow on Kitrak. But they're going to be happy enough just to take out two lanes of Rax. Ne never mind, they might go for more tier 4s, like you said. 100 to 0 to Addy just off the back of that Spirit Vessel. And the Infernal Blade. 
just forces them back. Maybe a little bit worried about the global silence to come through. But they just back off completely. I roll! <laughs> having fun. Oh, definitely having a lot of fun. Well, I'm telling the webcams as well. Seb? <laughs> no, dude. You can't use that voice line and TP out in front of them. It's not fair. It's just... Oh, it's just not fair. Seb wants to do more damage as well. He's going into the Desolator. Topson, after this Roche goes down, should have enough for the BKB. And really then he's going to have nothing to fear. That is a horrific uh, spray inside of the Roche pit. <laughs> but oh, um, we're not going to have time to look at it. There's another fight brewing. No, it might be the last fight as well. Stoikov's going to go down. They're on to Addy as well. The Dragonite was hoping to act as a protection here for the last track running yeah. interception, but... Yeah, you're 43,000 gold behind. Perfect D, but kind of sad and kind of bad. <laughs> Look at that picture in picture. He's got a rapier. <laughs> right, so he's got a rapier. I mean, he's got the ages. He can afford to. Ah, oh, of course. <laughs> Dude, what is that? He's spread? level 25 as well. But yeah. Now you got a BKB on your Earth Spirit. He's level 20. You can grip allies away if they ever are going in too deep. Nearly a, I'm assuming that's overwhelming blink for the Doom. Seb's got Desso. Oh. We can end the game. <laughs> rizzo has got a DD as well. Oh, good. He... No. <laughs> Surprise! Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> you looking at that, He's going to do it. He's going to do it. <laughs> Rezzo. No. Kill them all. Come on. Oh, Addy. Give him kills. He's got Satanic. Ooh. Yeah. They even kill. They're not even going to kill. One, two, three, oh, four, full HP. There we, there we go. go. All right. This is a very big win for OG. I know it was a dominant series. Game one and game two was incredibly clean for them, but 